How you doing? My name's Kevin. I'm the owner of Godlike Incorporated, and we're here at the 2010 Winter NAM Show. This is my associate, PJ Zitarosa, and we're going to show you some of the new products we have to offer here this year at the show. So, come on in. Oh, hello out there. This is PJ Zitarosa with Godlike Incorporated. We're going to step you through all these fabulous pedals now. We're going to start with a comp sustainer here. Now, if I play just clean, a nice clean tone, when I click on this, we're going to get a little bit of a country slapback. Real nice. Again, without it, just nice clean. With. Now, the other thing that I love about using the overdrive pedal, which is the ODM5, and I found a nice setting, just a real nice, nice bluesy setting. You know, just your normal bluesy. So now, if, I'm, if I want to play a lead, what I'll do is I'll keep this in my loop, and I'll click this on. For my, for my boost, literally click this in. Without, and here's with. Gives it a nice boost. So this pedal is, is, is a preference that I just, I dug on this one setting. ODM5 is just a updated version of the uh, award-winning Gaiatone OD2. Uh, it's a, your, your typical 808 style circuit, but we've done some tweakings to the uh, tone settings to get it a little more low end uh, and a little more natural tube sounding uh, sound, less compression and more uh, natural dynamic response than your standard 808. It's very cool too. So this first setting is just bluesy, nice. You know, I like. I also love this setting for slide. Play a lot of slide with this setting because it's a little bit. I love that first setting for slide because it's got just a little. It's got enough gain on it. So if you go to setting three. It's going to really give you the a real nice big nice big crunchy sound. And then setting two is in the in, in, right in the between. Still get a nice nice tube sound. So that's the ODM5. Again, you can go crazy with the settings. These are just a few in particular that we really liked. Um, moving on to the chorus pedal here. Again, three different channels that you can pick and choose what you want to hear. Um, classic chorus. Uh, I found a nice um, Leslie sound. And I also found this really nice ring modular sound that Kevin loves too. <laughs> it's really cool. So. It's in triangle mode, okay? And then the settings I just kind of mess with, and we're, we're going to make a setting for this. But it's real. It's real cool. I just love sitting with it. It's just one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> it's cool. And sometimes I'll just click into it, like in the groove of the moment. So if I have a groove. You know, and I'll just kind of, when it's on the floor, I'll just kind of step on it in, in between on the groove. So all of a sudden it's like, what, what was that? So it's kind of cool for that. Um, now, the, uh, again, you have so many different settings. So just explore with it. It's, it's, it's just a little bit of the iceberg. With what all of these can do. These are just dynamite pedals. So okay, next up in uh, what we've got to show new at the show is the TWA Triskelion. TWA, or Totally Wicked Audio, is uh, Godlike's house brand of effects. It's uh, very high-end boutique tweaker stuff, and uh, the Triskelion is what we like to refer to as a harmonic energizer. What it does is it's a 
custom tuned filter circuit that allows you to change the harmonic content of your guitar signal. So uh, it has a, a lot of uses. Uh, you can basically fine tune your rig to a particular room, create resonant feedback between your guitar and amp, uh, notch a specific frequency to get like a half cocked wah sound for solos. It's got a healthy amount of gain boost so you could just bomb the front end of your amp and uh, force it to overdrive or you can disengage the uh, gain and just have it run as a straight uh, parametric EQ. All uh, the center frequency of the EQ is also controllable via expression pedal, so it can be used as a wah-wah pedal as well. So it's it's very versatile pedal. Uh, it works great in combination with other overdrives and distortions as well. So PJ is going to take you through a couple of different sounds, and Trevor is going to tweak the pedal while we go through these. So. This is with a harmonic boost, which basically shifts the center frequency up uh, by a certain amount of degrees, and it just gives you an added top end range that uh, is pretty interesting. to turn the gain on and this is basically going to just show you you know how much uh, harmonic content can be uh, gotten with this pedal and now we're going to use this in conjunction with an overdrive and show you how they work well together. This is just the overdrive, okay. this is just the overdrive. and the overdrive with the triskelion. <laughs> Moving down the line, uh, we come to uh, Two new 9 series pedals from Maxon, uh, the ST9 Super Tube and the SM9 Super Metal. If those sound familiar, it might be because they're very coveted uh, effects from the 80s uh, that were only available in Japan and only leaked into the United States, so a lot of uh, vintage gearheads are uh, looking for these things, they're highly sought after, so Maxon felt it was time to reissue them. But uh, not being able to leave well enough alone, they decided to add a bunch of new features. Good. All right, we're going to show you the Super Metal pedal by Maxon here. We're going to run this in 18 volt. Again, it can run in 9 volt and 18 volt. This one we're going to run in 18 volts. This is a classic metal sound that I heard when I, when I tweaked this setting. Great for leads, great for rhythms. Great for, for pick, the pick attack. Great for all the harmonic kind of stuff. One of my favorite pedals. Okay, next up, we're going to introduce you guys to the How Omega Drive 16. How is a boutique effect builder from Japan. They do uh, some really great sounding high-end uh, overdrives and distortions uh, over the past few years that are designed to emulate uh, certain amps like uh, Marshall, Plexi, uh, Fender Bassman, 410, and they finally dove into the overdrive world and they brought us something really special, which is the Omega Drive 16. 
The Omega Drive 16 uses a charge pump, which uh, takes nine volts coming into the pedal and bumps it up to 16 volts. And what this does is it just gives you an increased headroom, better dynamic response, fuller frequency response. This thing is just very rich in uh, upper harmonics, but it's got a lot of low end punch. It's much more full frequency than your standard overdrive. It just works great going into a already overdriven amp to take it over the edge. And it also works great in conjunction with other overdrives. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna show you a couple of the new Emma electronic pedals. Emma's a high-end manufacturer from Denmark. Some of you guys may be familiar with their Riza Fratzitz distortion or discombobulator envelope filter. They've uh, made a big splash into the U.S. over the past few years, and they're finally coming out with some new models. The first is the line is the Pizdiawatt, which is a high-gain metal distortion. It's got a very, very nice EQ. It's nice and tight and punchy uh, without having too much compression, which is always a problem when you're running a lot of gain. Uh, they also have a new overdrive called the Stink Bug, which is, again, it's a classic style tube amp overdrive, but not in the tube screamer uh, realm. It's much more uh, like an actual tube amp, reacts like an actual tube amp. Uh, I'm here to show you the Howe OD16, running on 16 volts, people, okay? Two different spots. You can have your tone on or your tone off. We're gonna start first with the tone off, okay? This is a setting that I found that I just think sounds totally like a tube head 1,000%. Now mind you too, the level's only at like nine o'clock. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the pedals we had to show you today. My name is Kevin. This is PJ. We're with Godlike Incorporated. Again, Gaiatone Mighty Micros, TWA Triskelion, Maxon 9 Series Super Metal and Super Tube, How Omega Drive 16, and Emma Pizdiawatt and Stink Bug. You can check all this stuff out at www.godlike.com. That's G-O-D-L-Y-K-E. So thanks for stopping by and check out our stuff.